Here's an in-depth tutorial on how to mute audio in Final Cut Pro. If you're like me, you have a timeline stacked with music, sound effects, and dialogue. All of that audio can be distracting and confusing. I waste so much time manually silencing clips only to realize I've muted the wrong ones. The good news is that you won't have to waste time because in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven best ways to mute audio in Final Cut Pro so that you can focus on your project without any distractions. And at the end, you're gonna get a pack of 91 Final Cut Pro effects, a $138 value for free. I'll explain how you can get these in a moment, but before I do that, here are the seven ways to mute audio in Final Cut Pro. All right, the first method is soloing clips. In your timeline, select the clip you want to isolate or hear. Click on the headphone solo button in the top right area of the timeline or press option S. This will mute everything except the clip you selected. So hit that like button and is the fastest way to separate a clip. To unmute the isolated clip, select it and press option S. In just a bit, I'll show you how to mute multiple selected clips at once. The second way to mute is disabling a clip. Select a clip on your timeline that you want to silence and then press V. Not only will this mute your clip, but it will disable the video as well. Final Cut. To enable the audio and video, select the clip and press V again. Be careful when using V to mute audio because it turns off the video. And if you don't enable the clip, it won't show up in your exported video. If you need to mute just a section of a clip, then you'll like technique number three. In the timeline, right click on your clip and select expand audio. Switch to the range selection tool with the pop-up menu or press R, select a range and press V. To unmute the range, press V again. To unmute if you selected a different clip, select the range and press V or select a bigger range that includes the muted selection and press V twice. The fourth method is a tongue twister, but makes it a cinch to mute multiple clips altogether. Press A and then click and drag around the clips you want to silence, or select a clip and then command click other clips or select a clip and then shift click on another clip to select all the clips in the between. Oh, oh my gosh, clippity click. In the menu bar, click on modify, then go to adjust volume and select silence. To undo, click on modify, then go to adjust volume and select reset. The fifth way allows you to adjust a clip on the fly. Hover over the middle audio level line in a clip until you get this adjusted audio cursor. It's two triangles, one pointing up and the other down. Drag the line down until it touches the bottom or shows negative infinity. To unmute it, drag the line back up. To adjust one decibel at a time, hold down command while dragging the line. You can also undo it by pressing shift command X. Make sure volume is checked and click remove. Technique number six is the best way to mute audio when you're working on a clip in the inspector. Go to the audio inspector and drag the volume to the left until it shows negative infinity. To undo, click the downward triangle and select reset parameter. Now you can go back to the effects or title inspector to make more changes to your clip without going back and forth to the timeline. This last method, number seven, will permanently mute your audio, so be careful. Go to the browser, select the clip or clips you want to mute, go to the audio inspector and drag the volume to the left until it shows negative infinity. To unmute, click the downward triangle and select reset parameter. Remember, this will permanently modify your clips and whenever you add a muted clip from the browser to different projects, it will be muted. To unmute any clips silenced with the seven methods I just showed, select the clips, Go to Modify, Adjust Volume, and select Reset. Or press Shift-Command-X and make sure volume is checked and click Remove. Or immediately after you've muted a clip, you can press Command-Z to undo. What's your favorite way to mute audio? Did I miss one? Let me know down in the comments. And if this video has been helpful, give it a like. Thank you. Muting is only half the battle. You still need to quickly preview audio and skimming is one of the best ways to do that and search for a particular shot or make an edit. In the top right area of the timeline, click the skimming button, then click the audio skimming button or press S and then shift S. With skimming turned on, you can move the pointer in your timeline and your video and audio plays in the viewer. Has this video been helpful? Now you can quickly skim clips to find that clip that needs muted. Keep in mind, audio skimming only works when skimming is turned on.
Now that you're a Final Cut Pro audio muting master, don't mute me, I have a free gift for you. It's a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients, friends, and family. It's worth $138, but it's yours for free. Click the link in the description for your free plugins.